Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome to my little corner of YouTube. My name is Hannah Olson and I live in Minnesota with my husband and our three children, Sophie, Soren, and Svea. Sophie is six, Soren is four, and Svea is one. A little bit of background on me, I'm an elementary teacher turned stay-at-home homeschooling mom and this is my dream job. I love staying home with the kids, I love managing our home, and I also love educating our kids. And I wanted to speak to that a little bit today. I'm excited to share a kind of new company that I haven't talked way too much about in terms of all of their resources, but you might have heard a little bit of this before if you have been around for a little while. So let's jump into a haul of the Critical Thinking Company workbooks. So ever since the start of our homeschool journey, I've really enjoyed a workbook that you might have heard me mention called Mathematical Reasoning. And I've got Soren's age four one that he finished up actually. And this is Mathematical Reasoning Beginning 2. It's specifically made for age four, but the one that we always start with is Mathematical Reasoning Beginning 1, which is made specifically for age three. And it is so much fun. It's full of wonderful activities and um, math problems and learning numbers and tracing and drawing even things that the child has to just point to. We have been huge fans of our mathematical reasoning workbooks. We are actually continuing with that this year for Soren. He has now moved up into, I believe it's called A, which is supposed to be more of a kindergarten level or at least pre-kindergarten. And I'm so proud of him. I do feel that these mathematical reasoning workbooks are a huge reason for Soren's strong foundation in math. And that is what sparked my curiosity about the critical thinking company. I should note this is not a sponsored video. I didn't get sent anything at all by the critical thinking company. If anything it's just Amazon affil affiliate links that are involved but I am such a fan of this company and I'm so excited about these newer workbooks that we've begun working through in our homeschool time because there are a lot of good ones I want to share with you today. This by the way is Soren's current math workbook. It says grade K and it says level A. So there are tons of math workbooks and I believe this company originally started out as a math and logic workbooks or textbooks company, but it has since expanded to different subjects, all sorts of different subjects, but it's all with the goal of becoming problem solvers and creative thinkers. And they had a really good quote on their website I wanted to share with you. The president of this company says this, if we teach children everything we know, their knowledge is limited to ours. If we teach children to think, their knowledge is limitless. And I love that philosophy. Of course, we want our children to be able to be good thinkers in this society and to be not only rational thinkers, but problem solvers and extra creative too. So I have books besides the mathematical reasoning workbooks that I wanted to share with you today. I have picked them out for our kindergartner, Sophie, who's six, almost six and a half, and also for Soren, who is almost four and a half, and he is in his second year of preschool right now. Of course, homeschool lends itself to a lot of flexibility and the ability to tweak things even throughout the school year, which is why Soren is now starting on a level K, uh, it's level A kindergarten level um, math workbook, but also you'll notice some of these workbooks I got for both Sophie and Soren because they span a couple grade levels and I know we can really take our time working through them together. All right, this book is called Visual Perceptual Skill Building. I guess my only critique for this company is that the workbooks don't have really fun names and it's hard for me to make notes in my, um, I do reverse planning so I write down what we did each day for school and it's just kind of hard to write it all down when it's, let's take out your visual perceptual skill building workbook. But anyway, I, that's not really a big complaint at all. We love the quality of what is inside the workbook. This one, of course, is to build visual skills and critical thinking skills, and this says it's for writing, reading, and math. And I love that because, again, it spans all sorts of um, not only grade levels, but different subjects. The grade levels here, by the way, say pre-K up through grade one, which is why I actually got one for 
Soren and one for Sophie. And they might go at different speeds or we might do more pages with one child than with the other some days, but we'll just take our time getting through this. So let me show you inside this visual perceptual skills book first. They start out with some pretests actually in the beginning, and this is a mazes pretest, but they have other types of um, pretests too, such as this is not a pretest on this page, but this is finding the matching shape. As you can see, it looks like some letters are a little bit weird here or tilted, and that's because they really truly are trying to help your child build those perceptual skills that are so important, especially in reading. So let's look at page 32 here. They've got the number 21 at the top, and then they have the numbers 21, 23, 24, and 22, but they're all kind of missing chunks out of the letters. And that's because our brains need to learn how to really um, decipher a lot of different text and even shapes. This one, you're trying to match what is the what the top shape is. And I love the fact that it's kind of like we're training our brains in this book to handle distraction and be able to think critically about um, maybe an incomplete shape that we might see. Because even in our everyday life, not every person's handwriting is neat and we still need to be able to visually um, decipher what we're seeing. I know I might not be explaining it super well, but this is an awesome book. I thought it could be a really good kind of a pre-reading skill for my children, especially Soren, who's in preschool and hasn't begun really reading yet. And I just wanted to see how, how it goes. So that visual perceptual skill building, this is book one, has been a hit with us so far this year. And this is a more recent development for us this school year. Sometimes when we wrap up a workbook, I start to think ahead to the next thing and there is no hard and fast rule. And I would actually argue to the contrary, you don't need to wait till the next school year to launch into a new um, workbook. You wanna keep the learning going year round if at all possible. And yeah, this is just something that I decided to jump into more recently. Then for Soren, I have this pre-kindergarten, it says grade pre-K thinking skills and key concepts. And I know, again, it's not really the best title, but we love it so much. Um, he has really enjoyed this book. Let me see if I can find it for you. So we're still towards the beginning of the book and a lot of this is going to be easier for him because it does get harder as the book goes on. But here is just one example of some thinking skills. He has to figure out in each row which picture has something that is red. And there are also pages where you have to take some, they're called attribute blocks, but they're kind of just plastic tangram shapes that I did go ahead and purchase because we use them for a book I'm going to show you that Sophie's using as well. And there's oftentimes tracing or coloring them in and becoming familiar with different patterns and shapes. And they walk it, they walk you through it so well as the parent or as the teacher. Then later on, since this is not a specific subject book, this is thinking skills, they've got different ways to categorize information, like kinds of living things, thinking about food, thinking about jobs. So this book has been already so interesting for us, and I think it's going to really help develop those critical thinking skills over time for Soren. It is for grade pre-K. I bet we'll get through this one either um, before next year or kind of into next year. This one is not spanning a wide range of grades. And then for Sophie, I got her this book called Building Thinking Skills, and I thought this would be really helpful for us. This says grades K through one, and it has, I'll just read it to you actually. It says it goes through similarities and differences, writing skills, vocabulary, classifying, describing, analogies, all sorts of things like that. So Sophie has kind of started at the beginning here. Let me see if I can find a good page for you. This is very easy for her right now, but I guess this goes all the way through first grade. Um, skills and we'll just kind of take our time or we'll speed up if necessary. So here she had to pick attribute blocks out of our collection of those and then trace them and color them in. She's going to be analyzing how many um, sides and corners shapes have. I want to show you a little further into the book though here. We've already got some copy work. Well, it's tracing here, but then she's going to have to describe um, in writing this next shape. It's not only shapes, but here's some other um, patterns. This is about, it says figural sequences. So we've got lots of categorizing of information coming up here. Here are some sections about food and 
uh, ranking foods, looking for similarities and differences. We've got describing animals. And there are word boxes at the top. So a lot of really good skills are in here when it comes to classifying information and describing them. I thought this would just be a wonderful supplement for her this kindergarten year. I thought this would really freshen things up. And I have been a really big fan of this book so far and I'm looking forward to working our way through it. I'm saving what I think is the most fun for last to the kids also probably think this is the most fun. I got both Sophie and Soren the creative problem solving book and this is for age four up through grade two. So that's quite a wide um, span of ages here and we can go as fast or as slow as we'd like to through it. So far it's been quite simple so we've just been enjoying doing multiple challenges a day. Now when I first saw the preview or whatever it is online where you can kind of peek inside this workbook, I got really excited. I knew the kids would love it and I have not been disappointed. They start out with something they call the magic pencil in this workbook and it's all about using your your magic pencil your pencil of course to um, solve a problem or come up with a solution or to design something and this is perfect for both of my kids and i think for pretty much any child they would absolutely love this this seems like something you would do in a gifted and talented program in days of old and other times when you just want to pull a kid to do a little fun enrichment activity. So for this one, since I'm showing it to you, I might as well describe it. It says use creative thinking to draw a way to fix a situation. So right here, the girl needed a little bit of help because the dog um, was running alongside. So what they did was they drew a little sidecar for the dog. But there are all sorts of situations in here. I think I'm using Soren's book. So this one is called Dog on a Roof. The dog is about to jump off of the roof, draw something, use your magic pencil to draw a solution for the dog. So your child could draw a net, they could draw jetpacks, which we have been drawing a lot of jetpacks on people's feet <laughs> for some reason. Um, possible solutions though have been described over here. So this is kind of um, explaining to the kids how they could possibly s solve the problem, but then it gets into challenges um, of their own. All right, challenge number five here is that the man is fishing and can't quite pull the fish up. It's too heavy, so you have to figure out a way, a solution for the man to help him catch the fish. This girl is playing the saxophone and is about ready to wake her brother. <laughs> and so you have to solve that problem. How can you help the brother continue sleeping? So draw something to fix that. We've got the hare who is about to win the race with the turtle. What could you draw? I think those are jetpacks to help the uh, turtle beat the hare in the race. So I think you get the idea. Later on, they have a section called Creature Factory. They've got superheroes and superpowers. The inventor, so we've got a whole thing here. This is a lot more challenging, I would say, for Soren because it is getting closer to grade one work or something towards the back. But you definitely have to think of a creative solution and then list the steps to solve the problem. This is called Falling Purse. This is about a wedding. Someone is carrying a fragile ice sculpture, it says. So these are just really funny and interesting situations to think about and I love the fact that your kids have to do some creative problem solving and it involves a lot of um, extra thinking and coming up with steps. I've been having the kids work on this together or like next to me at the same time and then we kind of present our ideas to each other. So this has been a blast and I highly recommend this book so far. That's it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope it was fun and helpful for you to see some of our picks from the Critical Thinking Company. Again, this isn't a sponsored video. It's just our personal collection and what we've been enjoying and working through. If you want to stay up to date on not only what's new on YouTube, but new on the blog and get some tried and true recipe or meal recommendations, be sure you sign up for my email list down below. I would love to have you. And I also wanted to mention I have a brand new free masterclass all about productivity secrets for moms of young children. Moms of young children, oftentimes we can feel like we have to run around while our kids are asleep to get everything done that we need to get done, both for the home and for our personal goals, but it doesn't have to be that way. And I wanted to share some of my best secrets with you about how to get things done, even if you don't have any outside childcare. So that free masterclass is linked down in the description box for you. Thank you again for watching. I hope it was helpful for you and I hope you're having a wonderful day wherever you're at and I'll see you in my next one. Bye guys.
Yesterday.